<laughs> Hello. I'm supposed to have posted a video on Friday, so I'm a little behind. Sorry, guys. It's been a little crazy this week with birthdays and whatnot. My own birthday was this week and my daughter's. We actually have back-to-back -back birthdays. She was almost born on my birthday, but decided to have her own day, which I'm sure she'll be thankful for later on in life. Anyway, I went sourcing today, got some good stuff, mostly bread and butter, nothing too crazy. Yesterday I went and sourced at about four places, including a Goodwill outlet far from here, about 25 miles or so. And it wasn't, it wasn't very good. It had mostly just clothes, tons of clothes, two bins of books, which I only found four books out of that and a couple shelves of books. And they had two big blue bins of VHS tapes. But only found two VHS tapes and they're not that great, but they were 10 cents each, so I felt I could invest in them. And I spent, believe it or not, 95 cents on six items, I believe, six four books and two VHS tapes. So at any rate, I was going out a little bit further last couple of weeks. Yesterday was the third time I went out sourcing on a new day and going a little further to try to find some new spots. And I found one, which was great. It found it a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago actually, bought about 40 books. It's a good spot, never been there before. Relatively close or close enough, probably about a 20 minute or so drive. 25 minute maybe. That was a good spot. Got a lot of books, a lot of CDs which I didn't even look at, and VHS tapes I didn't look at, but spent all the time looking at books. So trying to find some new spots that I can go to that are not so far, but close enough to, to make it worth it. I want to give you a little update on that. And also wanted to talk about the long-term storage fees and how it's changed. And I know I made a video about that in my last video, but something that I've been thinking about is possibly it's a good thing. It's a good thing for having a leaner and a meaner uh, inventory, i.e. selling things quicker, getting your money back faster, that sort of thing, but still making good profit. But also I had a thought that it's not the end of the world when it comes to long tail for two reasons, that if you don't have a ton of long tail, then you're not gonna incur too many long-term storage fees in case you have items sitting there for more than six months or more than 12 months. As long as there's enough profit built into those and they should sell, there's never a guarantee that they'll sell the long tails, but based on all the, all the parameters, all of the information that you look up, like sales rank, like sales history, like price history, uh, other offers, maybe look on eBay and other websites to see if there's other copies going for that much or maybe there's no copies, et cetera. All of that information, how many other FBA offers are there? There's none, that's great. Are you selling it for at least 40, 50, 60 bucks? Let's say $40 and up is probably worth it, assuming you got it for a dollar or less. That's the thing, if you have a, you still have long tail books but it's smaller, let's say a couple hundred, they're gonna sit for six to 12 months, then it's, it might be worth it. You know, one book, it, it seems to vary based upon the book size, uh, how how much it'll be per book for the long-term storage fees, but it could be, you know, six months is less, 12 months is more, it could be upwards of a dollar fifty, maybe more for the 12 month storage fee assessment. So if you have a hundred books and it's a hundred to, let's say a hundred to 180 bucks for a hundred books, but you're still gonna make, you're gonna sell those books for 30, 40, $50 and more per book. And they're, most of them are gonna sell, let's say at least more than half of them are gonna sell, then it can still be worth it. So just keep that in mind, something I'm keeping in mind to build that into your profit um, or your expenses when you're sourcing long tail books. You say, oh, I found a 3 million rank book. It sold two in the last year and it sold for $55, $60, let's say. There's only three, four offers. They're all above $50. Looks like that price is steady. You know, that sort of thing. If you wanna say, well, then I might have to spend, if it doesn't sell for a year, let's say it takes 14 months to sell, so I have to pay an additional dollar, dollar fifty, up to two bucks, depending, let's say dollar fifty, plus the sourcing cost, a dollar, two fifty, plus the monthly fees, let's say about three bucks. But if it sells for $50 and you're, you're gonna get paid, you're still gonna make over $35 in profit. So it's possibly worth it. So keep that in mind. And also that's just a random example, but I would say at least the book has to be going for, I would say at least 40, 
I mean, maybe 30, because you sell a book for 30 bucks, you make about 21, 22 bucks. If all in, including long-term storage fee, that's three or four bucks, you still made a decent profit. But I would say probably $40 and more to make a nice profit. The other thing to consider is because of these fees, a lot of people are gonna stop sending in it. Uh, they're gonna stop sending in long tails, so anything over, let's say, 12 months, and some people will send in less. What does that typically mean? If this, the demand is the same, right, for the long tails, there's a steady but slow demand for a lot of the long tail books, but there's a lot less competition. There's less FBA. Chances are, I would assume, that a lot of these long tail books are gonna open up and there's gonna be more opportunity for people that wanna take that risk to sell those long tails. So instead of sending in 100 long tails a month, maybe someone will send in 20 a month or 10 a month or whatever it is, have a cutoff for rank. Maybe the rank cutoff will be 3 million, 4 million, whatever it may be, but that might oh, that, that's probably gonna open up some more opportunities for people that still wanna sell long tail. So I think that the opportunity is still there if you're willing to put into your your profit calculations those long-term storage fees. Of course, when that when those fees hit, it's gonna be a bit bigger because you're gonna have all those books, hundreds or however, however many books, they're gonna get hit with those. We just need to be careful about that, but the opportunity is probably more there than it was before now because of this. So some time as well. It's not gonna be for a while till you get hit with the with those bigger fees. It's time to get, you know, uh, to figure out what, what's your, what you're comfortable with with your sourcing and where you wanna cut things off when it comes to sales rank and that sort of thing. Something to consider. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean that book selling is over or that you should stop selling books. Unless you were only selling long tail, then you might have to reconsider your sourcing. But I don't think too many people are only selling long tails and not sending in anything under, let's say, 3 million rank, which seems crazy to me. Let me know how you're feeling about that and if it makes sense to you, if you feel that competition will go down, FBA competition for selling long tail. Of course, if all of us watching this and continue to do long tail, maybe the competition will, will still be there, but I don't have that many viewers, so I, I, I'm not too worried about that. It could be a good opportunity, guys. So hopefully your sourcing is going well today on Friday and you're reassessing your business. I'm gonna go back and do a lot of repricing and looking at a lot of older books to see which ones I can get rid of for free or sent back to me and decide I wanna go about that. So take advantage now of the free disposals and free returns until I believe October 14th, so we have a while. To, to do that. So even though my inventory is over 2,500, I probably want to drop it down a lot more to just get rid of some of that stuff that's not selling, the older stuff, especially stuff that's there for over a year, which is what I've been repricing lately. And my sales have been doing well. Yesterday I did 13 sales. Today so far I did six when I checked this morning. So sales are going well. I'm sending in shipments consistently, sourcing every week, every, let's say I source about four days a week. So hopefully you guys are, are keeping at it and just focusing on the holidays which are coming up and just building up faster selling inventory that we don't have to worry about the long-term storage fees and we can make consistent money regardless of what month it is. August was awesome. September's been great as well. October will not be as good as September, but we keep sending in quality inventory. It still should be pretty solid. And then November will be great and December will be even better. And then January will be even better because of back to school again. And then part of February will be great too, and then it's back to the slower months. So we're kind of in the thick of the of the great the great time of the year, best time of the year for books. So let's try to take advantage of it. As always, remember, keep booking. Mm -hmm.